what would you suggest as a mentor uh, that I should do in basically three or four steps that would get me a decent knowledge and skill in the field of cybersecurity in let's say six months and then possibly um, a job in about a year or less. And are we looking just cybersecurity? Are we looking pen testing? Uh, what's the end, end goal in that first year? Oh, we can talk about specialization, but uh, I would say cybersecurity in general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for, for me, I think there are foundationals that you should have for, for cybersecurity. Uh, one being basic IT you know, knowledge, which we have. So the others that I, I really like to point out are Linux based. Uh, so if you don't have a grip on Linux, I think that's super important, especially as you move up in the career trajectory. Um, knowing Linux is super useful and knowing networking is super useful. So if you're coming off of just a, a help desk role or some sort of basic general IT role, having that networking knowledge really helps as well, especially if you're breaking into the field, because a lot of people break into that like SOC analyst type role, um, you know, some sort of security based role where they maybe, um, you know, monitoring different alerts and things that come into the environment. So understanding what's going on in your network, super big. A lot of that runs off of uh, Linux-based programs. You might have applications that are running in Linux, so that's useful. And then being able to script. So depending on the field that you have, uh, scripting is super useful. So you could be talking like Linux Bash or even Python scripting, or some things are moving to like Ansible or different types of scripting in there, depending on the field and what you're actually doing having that basic foundations really useful. Uh, you can develop that scripting later into coding or development skills, but as a base level for your first year, being comfortable with a language to just be able to write out some basic tasks is super useful. Uh, from there, I think having like a, a certification or two might help you, just something to put on your resume that says, hey, I have a general understanding of cybersecurity. Uh, I'm not going to be an expert by this level, but I, I have a, a general knowledge base and something along the lines of maybe a security plus is pretty good. So you take the security plus and what's nice about it is there's a lot of jobs that require it or in the US especially, um, there's like government standards that if you want to work in government, you actually have to have a security plus for some roles. So it really just opens up the doors where another candidate might be applying and they don't have that certification. And they could even possibly be a better candidate, but you know, you might get to the situation where that just is an advantage for you to have it. Uh, so if you work on these foundationals, I think the, the first three with Linux networking and scripting, and then build on top of that a security foundation within the first six months to a year, I, I think you would be pretty positioned, well positioned to actually find a job. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. Yeah, so in terms of a scripting, um, in this case, if we talk about penetration testing, Bash would probably be, uh, even though a lot of people, and I myself, uh, I'm a huge fan, I'm the biggest fan of Python, mm -hmm. but in, uh, in the past couple of weeks, uh, I've learned that Bash seems uh, much more handy mm -hmm. oftentimes when it comes to penetration testing and also bug bounty hunting so i would say uh, bash and then python but it depends it actually depends on the the, the your actual context exactly and penetration testing in bug bounty hunting seems to be really good for me because i've i've actually written a couple of handy scripts for my uh, actual work uh, but if you're in other type of situation you might need a different uh, uh, process yeah and uh, just to tag on to that is yeah bash is really good for automation so you just you just say hey linux i usually run these 10 commands in a row anyway so why don't you just do these for me and pull out the data and uh, you take care of it while I go get a cup of coffee or I go, you know, walk around or do something else. Uh, so the more automation that you can do for yourself, the easier you can make your life, the better off it'll be. And I think, like you said, for penetration testing, Bash is just quick and dirty, something you can put together really easy.